Hello everybody, it's Ira Bowman, your favorite Bay Area printing and imaging sales uh, account manager. And today I want to help a little bit of strategy on how to search if you have a free account here on LinkedIn. If you're like me and you're in sales, you run out of searches uh, very quickly. LinkedIn does not want you to use this um, to cold call and to, to research if you aren't paying them. But you can, especially as you build your network, this becomes more and more powerful. So for example, when I had 1500 connections, this wasn't as helpful. Now that I have 30,000 connections, it's very helpful. So first things first, I'm gonna go through something. I am out of my free uh, account use, which means it's only gonna show three results every time. So you have to learn how to kind of mix things up and I'm gonna teach you that. But I wanna to talk to you about a strategy first when you're up, when you have the freedom to search and you see all the results, I want you to come in here and connections and do three plus, leave second alone. The reason why is when you run out, you can always pick second. I could pick second right now, but I cannot pick third. See that? Because it's grayed out. It's because I'm out of free searches. So it's like, nah, I ain't helping you that way, right? So use those first when you hit the cap and you'll get a little warning. It'll tell you, hey, you're getting close. You know, anyways, I blew right through that, okay? So when you have exceeded your limit, and I'll show you what that looks like in a minute if you don't know what I'm talking about. But so pick third as long as you can. And when you can no longer pick it, then pick second. Okay, it's the opposite of what you think. You don't need to search first. You don't need to do second. Do third only first. Then work your way closer to first. You'll never need to search first because you can go here to your network and search that way for free forever, right? You can always search your, your first level connections. There is no limit. At least I've never run into it, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit second. I'm gonna pick my location. Okay, so... Every time I pick something, it's gonna show me something, okay? It's gonna have some results. They're usually the same every time I do this, but every time I make a change, they typically change. Like watch this, Brian Law, when I hit San Francisco Bay Area, he goes away, because he's not in the Bay Area. This guy, Jay Jemison, you know, they, they climbed up because they are, okay? So I'm just gonna go through these filters, and I'm gonna, look for things like if i'm going marketing and advertising which is something that i do call on okay then i'm probably going to come in here and hit title like director or operations or design could be a bunch of different things but every time i do this and i hit apply the results here are going to change usually if you get no results found it's because you made a spelling error I have uh, dyslexia. I make spelling mistakes all the time. It's really funny because, you know, people like to get on me for it. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry that uh, <laughs> I made, made a mistake. It happens all the time. Sometimes it's because I don't know how to spell the word. Sometimes it's, it's because <laughs> I just, I thought I typed it and I didn't. It, it happens. But anyways, I digress. So here are three people. Okay, now they're all second level connections. I'm not connected to any of them. One tip that I want to give you is, you don't have to connect to everybody. Even if you're an open connector, you don't need to connect with everybody. I would actually suggest that you don't necessarily do that, especially if you're getting closer to the 30,000. Let me show you a smarter um, way to do this. Okay, so click on them. So this is Cindy Lazar. Sorry if I um, put your debt, Cindy. <laughs> I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna follow her. I follow everybody. If I click on your profile, I'm gonna follow you now. Why? because following doesn't hurt anything. Uh, they cannot see any of my personal information. They can't even send me a direct message if I'm following them or they're following me or we're both following each other, okay? So there's no risk there. But when she posts, I'll be able to see her posts. If she follows me back when I post, she would be able to see my posts in the feed. You can always see somebody if you go view. But one of the reasons why I don't like to connect with everybody, especially as I've maxed out and so now I can only connect with a few people a day as people drop off or I kick people off of my network, okay? But this is something that I'm looking at right here, activity. If they've got an activity section, this is somebody I would consider connecting with because they're using LinkedIn. There are 
550 million or however many people are on LinkedIn anymore, I don't know, 600 million, whatever it is, because it fluctuates. But not every one of those accounts is active. In fact, I don't know if even half of them truly are active, okay? We are different things and the research I do uh, tends to contradict itself on how many active profiles there are. But one thing I can tell you is if I see this, they are active. In fact, you can come in here and hit see all, you can go to posts, and I can tell you the last time she posted something was 21 hours ago. So she is fairly active. Before that, it was a week. Before that, it was a month. So she comes in every month or so and at least does something. But I can also come here and go, okay, well, 21 hours ago, that was all she did. And then before that, it was two days. So she does visit LinkedIn and use it more than just posting because a lot of people do what I call lurking. They come onto LinkedIn and they just, they view the feed, but they don't engage. They don't do anything. And there's no reason to connect with those people, honestly, um, because they don't add any value. So that's that's my takeaway. But I am going to follow her, okay? So I'm following her. So she just picked up a follower. Now she is going to know that I looked at her profile. And uh, with 11,000, she probably gets less profile views than I do. So she might uh, see this longer. Like for me, Sometimes when I come in here on my profile views, the only thing I see is, uh, you know, a couple minutes worth. Like right now, if you viewed my profile more than 27 minutes ago, I don't, I don't see it, right? Because I have a free account. If I reactivate, <laughs> reactivate premium, I don't, wouldn't have to worry about this searching and I wouldn't have to worry about, you know, that limit I would see. I think they show you 90 of them or whatever, which sometimes can be an hour for me. But anyways. Getting back to getting back to this, I'm, gonna, I'm actually just gonna scroll back to, to this right here, okay? So I'm following her now. Now I'm gonna come back to the next one, Lindsay Mills. I'm gonna do exactly the same thing. This is what I do. I'm looking for people that I can connect with that will help me in my business. So one of the things I'm looking for is what companies do they work for? What are their roles, okay? She's a marketing and creative director that doesn't really tell me a ton. Okay, it's just because that's that's what I picked. But I can see, you know, she was a freelance graphic artist, and she was a senior art director at Celebration Design, and so forth. So again, with her, for me, it's not a great match to try and sell her something, but I'm gonna follow her. She's gonna see me, and you know, she might reach out to me, and then I, I I'll reevaluate it. But again, I'm gonna come down here and if you were paying attention to what I just said, what I don't see right here is I don't see activity. And that to me is a warning sign. I don't see any activity. That probably means this is a person that doesn't do a ton. She does have over 500 connections, but it's not showing me how many she has. Coming here, there's not a lot of detail. So it's interesting that she's premium because a lot of the premium members are more active. But in this case, I don't know. Now, this is usually a good sign too. If they have you know, 50 skills and endorsements, they have a fairly decent size. Uh, network, but I don't know. My guess is she probably has somewhere about a thousand connections. That's that's what I would guess based on what I see. But anyways, back to the search. Okay, got to go back here. Going to do the same thing. Oops, I went one too far. Sorry. Okay, Jesse, he's a freelance creative director. I'm going to click on him and just follow him real quick because I'm going to show you what happens now. Okay, so now. Those are the three that I'm allowed to see based on the search that I just entered. But if I come in here and it's all filters and I make a change, like all I would have to do is just change industries, for example. Okay, uh, let me type in architect. So that's something that I deal with on an everyday basis. Okay, now it's gonna give me these three. Okay, now I'm gonna look really closely at these ones and do the exact same thing. I'm going to come through. I'm going to see how many connections they have. I'm going to look at their activity. I'm going to see where they work. Those are the things that I'm going to do. I don't know why it froze up. Probably because I'm recording the video. <laughs> it happens. I confuse, I confuse LinkedIn. I do it all the time, probably. He's in Alameda, which is uh, in the East Bay. Not a problem. Marketing director, branch manager. Prince Charles Reaper Graphics is actually a company I've done business with. So. That's interesting, in Elite Reaper Graphics, now it's Reaper Graphics. So this is a guy who's uh, been in the, involved in the print industry. So he is definitely somebody I'd be interested in uh, potentially connecting with. I don't see activity though. So that means, you know, 
he's not um, not very active on LinkedIn. So I'm just going to follow him, even though everything else looks good. The fact that he doesn't engage on LinkedIn is something that uh, tells me I, I don't want to waste my um, my connections with. OK, because I want again, I only get a couple spots that open every day. And so <laughs> I can't waste them with people that aren't using the, uh, the site. But this is how I do it. Okay, here's one under 500. Okay, so managing director of EDU uh, education for LPA, which is a big firm, right? So that's pretty good. He's been there a year and a half. Um, he's an education guy, so he works on schools. Basically, is what that uh, that means. He's from Austin. That's cool. I used to actually work for Thomas Printworks out in Austin and San Antonio. So we, we probably have some uh, connections that way. And we have 11 mutual connections. And I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to follow him. Because again, if I look at activity, here's what, I, here's what I'm looking at. Okay. Not much going on. Posts. One day, one month, six months, six months. Okay. Not very active. Typical user on LinkedIn, but again, it's something that um, if you're looking to grow and you're looking for tips, join Project Help You Grow. <laughs> It'll help you out. This is um, a plug, I guess. But 2,672 members at the at the moment, and uh, what this job what this does is all about growth, building your network, learning how to get engagement. So, like for example, if I'm I was just looking at, sorry, I forgot his name. If I'm Walter and I've got 466 network connections and I want to build my network, I want to learn how to uh, make interesting posts and get people to engage with me. That's a, a group that you can join. Project Help You Grow uh, is a group that you can join here on LinkedIn that will help with that. Anyways, that's um, the search tips for today. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask me in the comments. I'm always happy to help. Um, that's kind of what I do. But also I get so many questions about um, how I spend my time and um, how I use LinkedIn for free to do my job. Well, that's part of how I do it. And I have other videos too. If you're not following me on YouTube and you're curious like how to send people messages without paying for premium and those things, I have other videos that are dedicated to that. Anyways, my name's Ira Bowman. I am the account manager for uh, printing and Imaging, California Survey and Draft Supply here in the Bay Area. If you have any print-related needs, you need supplies, you need a new service vendor, you want somebody to come in and help you figure out you know, how to improve your workflow, all those things, go ahead and uh, send me a message. I'd be happy to help you with that. Have a great day, everybody, and I look forward to talking to you again real soon.